Hi right guys, hello, Richard here. Uh, in this series of videos, we're going to take a look at another way of creating some rocks in Houdini. We're going to take a look at using uh, volumes um, to uh, to create some rocks. And the, the, the reference that I've gathered, you can see here on screen, is uh, some uh, an arrangement of rocks called the Norba Erratics, which is quite a cool name. Uh, this is in... Uh, my home county of Yorkshire um, near a place called Ostick and these are glacial morphological rocks apparently um, and these have been displaced and moved uh, by ice sheets and glaciers and then gradually as the ice has receded you get these really interesting arrangements of huge boulders sat on top delicately perched on top of, uh, of, of other smaller rocks so the Norba erratics so we're going to try and recreate something like this um, and obviously as we've been saying throughout the module reference is key so I'm here in pure I've just grabbed some Im uh, images off of uh, off of a Google image search just to sort of break it down in my head before I start and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly go over these images and sort of tell you what I'm seeing and how I intend to to recreate these and we'll sort of dip back into these images as we progress through the build in Houdini so obviously they're all different shapes as you would expect but there is a certain amount of uh, shape language that is sort of consistent amongst all of them um, we've got some quite sharp edges some quite harsh geometric shapes here so they're not sort of soft shapes we've got some curves but you know ultimately we've got these nice kind of crisp edges that we can take a look at and you can sort of see it here we've got almost like a cube shape here going on um, in addition to that the sort of the secondary forms that I'm seeing are these really nice uh, crack lines I don't know what they call like layer lines going on here that we can look to implement as well so some quite big deep uh, crack lines I'm sure they've got a technical name I don't know what it is and as we look across all the different uh, varieties you can see these very clear lines going on uh, and then on a smaller scale we've got even more of these oh, I'm, I'm guessing it's where the sediment has built up over years and years um, but you know smaller lines so we can add that in as a tertiary detail as well um, when we get around to it we'll create a procedural shader using uh, the Arnold standard surface shader and some uh, triplanar mapping so we'll try to get this kind of look in addition to that we'll add in some additional um, procedural maps to give us a bit of a bit more variation for these um, so this is what we're going to go for and ultimately what we will have at the end of this is a system so we're not building one rock we're building uh, an infinite amount of rocks okay so we're going to build a procedural system that will be able to generate any number of these rocks and we can audition them as, as we need or we can just render out a hundred or 50 or 10 or however many we need we can just hit render and render them out and, and place them and scatter them about our scene as required okay so with that let's jump over into Houdini and get started let's put my reference over there so I'm in a, a brand new scene uh, Houdini 18.5 uh, so let's just put down a geometry node and call it rock gen tool and jump inside okay so the way we're going to start is we're going to give ourselves some base geometry and then we're going to process that geometry using volumes okay so if you followed along in my previous rock building tool the, the one that used primarily polygons um, you'll recognize this this starting workflow so I'm going to place down a platonic solid which is just a platonic solid is just a bunch of mathematical shapes um, that are often quite useful for uh, for base geometry. So I'm going to set it over to dodecahedron. Okay, so we'll get something like that. And then what we want to do is we want to fracture this into little pieces. So I'm going to take a points from volume node, plug that in, and that will give us a bunch of points. Ultimately, way too many at this point. So I'm just going to drag that slider up and introduce some 
jitter as well so we just sort of get we want just a handful of points not too many um, because as you see when we drop down a Voronoi fracture and make those connections you can see how we've chopped up our initial geometry and if we place down an exploded view we can see how many pieces we've got okay so each one of these chunks will become uh, an individual rock so you can see right off the bat we've, we're generating some interesting uh, interesting shapes with some flat edges some curves uh, and a sort of a, going back to our reference you know we, we're so, sort of giving ourselves a bit of a head start um, if you want more or less you can always come back to the points from volume node and change this and you can have you know you can have sort of just a few big folders or you could even go crazy and have more of a pebble generator or something like that with lots and lots yeah, it depends on how you want to work really but as uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it just to keep things moving nice and quick I'm going to set mine quite low just so we've got some uh, quite big shapes and the processing time um, is not too bad so yeah as, as I mentioned we're going to process each one of these individually so um, to do that we can drop down a for each loop okay and the for each loop that we're interested in is for each connected piece all right so put down one of them and that's going to automatically add this connectivity node which will look at faces that are stuck together so um, it'll recognize that all these are connected and it'll give those uh, an attribute uh, that matches okay so we'll plug that in and we'll come into our for each loop okay and you can see now we're just dealing with one all right and all the work that we're going to do with our rock generator to uh, to create the shapes is going to be within this for loop because we want to do this operation for every piece of rock that we've got coming into the system all right so the first thing we want to do is we just put down an axis align just to tidy up the transform if we put the display flag on there and just make sure we are centering it in x centered in y and centered in z okay so we've positioned our base geometry at the at the origin there okay and if we come to the end of the for each loop you'll see now that the for each loop has gathered all those pieces up and place them about the origin so that's that's a good starting point for where we want to be okay so we come back up to the match size node there all right so this is our first piece that we're going to work on and remember because we're working in a for loop it's going to do this operation for every single piece that comes in so that's how uh, we're going to generate multiple rocks in one go um, so what we'll do in the next video we'll take a look at how we can use uh, volumes uh, to model rather than using polygons we're going to use uh, open VDB which is uh, a way of working with volumes okay so we will make start on that and I will see you in the next video thanks